and welcome back to another Let's Role Play of Dragon Age 2. I am Marion Hawk. We're about to go into the, I think it's just called the Legacy DLC. So outside of that, um, a little, oh, my freaking uh, <laughs> printer is, uh, I don't know, doing a self-clean at the moment, unfortunately. Probably won't take very long, but um, Memento of Legacy. I think I've done everything that I need to do. I've got enough potions. Everything's stocked up. Yeah. So let's go for this. I've never done it before. Um, I did had. I also didn't do Mark of the Assassin either. So it's it's new to me. All I know it has something to do with uh, my family's past, which kind of goes along with its name, legacy. And um, there's Darkspawn somehow in it. That's all I know. So would you like to play Legacy? Yes. And. Uh, should be a lot of fun. I can't believe I look the same. <laughs> First act two, act act one, I look the same after I got my new uh, gear. But uh, okay, so I'm going to pick people. I've been with Isabella a bit. We're also good friends. Uh, I'll take Fenris along with me. Of course, I'd like to keep an eye on him since we are becoming very very close. Um, Varric, we're always we'll always be friends. Meryl is not too sure of me right now. I'll take Anders. I'm sure of his spellcasting abilities. and uh, I think Sebastian is the last person in my group that really doesn't get me. But we're not either close. We're not very close. So I think that's good. We'll go with this group. Position each of your characters tactically. If a warrior guards a choke point, mages or archers can unleash powerful range attacks without being swarmed. I have a report you might find interesting. It tells of a chasm in the Vinmark Mountains, and a secret that was said to be buried within. Yet when the Chantry went to investigate, they were turned away by the Grey Wardens. And why would I find that interesting? Because the champion was there. I can't help but notice you failed to mention this adventure. Oh, that? <laughs> I didn't think you'd be interested. Just some business with Hawk's family and a few carded dwarves who went too far. <sighs> You're not going to believe me. I'll take my chances. All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. There it is. That's where your dwarves are? These are carded dwarves, so they're more criminals and smugglers than anything else. They're not usually stupid, though. I don't know why they'd attack you. Neither do I. This doesn't make any sense. You have a plan, then? I found their hideout, but my sources couldn't tell me anything else. It's all very strange. Why do you say that? It's just the Carter, isn't it? As far as my contacts and the Carter know, they shouldn't be here. There shouldn't even be a here. Well, this place is invisible. A big blind spot on the map. Bianca's never been this suspicious, and she's twitchy to start with. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I get attacked a lot. A fine point. So, what's the plan? I do. I get attacked rid a ridiculous amount. They're going to stop their attacks, one way or the other. Well, that sounds final. Whatever happens, they won't get a chance to attack again. If you need me, I'll be keeping watch. Try not to get yourselves killed. New Quest Legacy. Um, I have no idea. Of, um, I think we have been attacked by the Coterie. Yeah, we have. Coterie Dwarves. Several times, actually. Not Coterie. Uh, we've been attacked by the Coterie. Fought Coterie forces before. Uh, Carta. Sorry. So he's gained one season. My seasons are really slowing down now that I've hit uh, well the mid-teens. Seems like every every second video is leveling up. Now it's like about every fifth video. Now uh, where are we? He's a forty dexterity. Uh, I could take cutting up to twenty-five, and I could take magic up to thirteen. Forty dexterity is pretty damn high. My critical damage is eighty percent. That's all right. What's mine then? No, 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 what's, uh, attributes? Oh, I'm at 139%, wow. Yeah, that's pretty amazing, actually. Okay, so, um, yeah, see, he's just basically in the, f just in the friend area. 
But I would like to uh, make him a good friend of mine. And I haven't really had him uh, hang around with us that often lately, so... Okay, so I don't think we need to go in here. What is this? Confusion. Could be very handy, but... Have we finished this line? No, we have not. So I, I want to finish this line, and then we can go over to here. Um, these are always really, really good uh, abilities. Like, some of the best you can get. So, um, you know what? Depends what I have him use. Speed, precision. If he's already using speed, like, he doesn't have to use every power. I would rather have him use speed, actually. So, we don't have to put any more points on it. It's kind of just wasting. Because you can only have one of these uh, three abilities. Like, this is one ability, speed. This is another ability, precision. And this is the third ability, power. You can only have one of them active at a time. So, it's kind of pointless unless you're really into each one one of these items, and I'm not. Each one of these abilities, I mean. And this uh, Harmony is passive ability, and allows you to go uh, in increase the power of each one you choose. So we'll go into here. Guardian Angel. Sebastian creates an ethereal personal decoy that keeps enemies occupied for a short time while he escapes in stealth. Now that's pretty good. Decoyed 50% of his maximum health. Stealth chance 100%. So he goes into stealth. Now, tactics. Oh, see, no, he, he already has, I have that wrong, it's, is it a mode? Speed, because I act, I made speed his number one ability, because I used two talents to upgrade it, so I might as well use speed, which means he'll be firing a lot faster. Now, um, surrounded by least two enemies, pinning shot, how about, uh, self, Always, this is actually really interesting. It's, I think it's even easier to use than in Dragon Age Origin. Surrounded by at least three enemies. Let's use... Is it a mode? No. Back. It's an ability. Guardian Angel. Yeah. So, he creates a decoy of himself and he goes into stealth to get away. Can't argue with that. But tell you the truth, I think it should be as soon as he's attacked, he, he does something like that to get out of it. I don't know what the cooldown is on it. Uh, 45 seconds. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe. I, you know what, I'm going to fix it. I'll be right back. I'm going to pause it here. Okay, so I fixed it. So as soon as he gets surrounded by two enemies, he uses that uh, ability to make the decoy and, and go into stealth to get out of it. Now, um, Legacy. The card have a strange interest in the Hawk family. Explore their hideout to find out why and to stop the attacks. Oh, you know what? I, I don't think I've ever done this. Mark this active quest. Does it show up here? No. But we'll do it. We don't really have much choice. I suppose choice. we should take that as a warning. Aren't we here after dwarves? Why would they kill their own? It's a dead Bronto. I don't usually see those. And dead dwarves. This is obviously a not very nice area of the free marches. It's in the Vinmark Mountains, so it's not that far from where we are, as far as I know. You know what? I'm going to look that up. Okay, the Vinmark Mountains are just north of uh, Kirkwall. Uh, separates the... Uh, the area. It's not a, a, a nation. Sorry, it's not a nation. Uh, the free marchers are not its own nations. That's <laughs> unfortunate. At least you can tell how the person died. But I guess they were stripped of their clothing, or I don't know. Looks like a dwarf, actually, the size of it, or a child. Either way, it's sad. Yeah, the Vinmark Mountains are north. It would have taken me several days to get out here. Uh, I think that it's going to take me at least a few weeks. While I'm out here searching for the Carta, uh, as for like travel time to get here and then do what I have to do and then get, go back. There are flags out here. This looks... is that Dwarven? Kind of looks Dwarven. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it will give a chance for Meryl to cool down back home. I feel bad for her, but uh, I did what I have to do. So in the meantime, we are out here for a reason. And let's hunt these Dwarves down. I guess we're not alone. They call me the Hawk, huh? <laughs> it's the Hawk. 
They'll alert others to our presence. Yes, they will, and I'm gonna quickly grab stale biscuit and 33 silver on that one. The dead corpses around. There's corpses around here. Where'd they go? Little buggers. You think they'd burrow into the ground? I just saw one run by there too, and then it disappeared. Stealthy little buggers. Because they know my weakness. I must loot. The Listen. time has come! Glory. Can you hear that? We'd best be careful. But we're not facing Darkspawn. It's not like there's ogres and emissaries among them. I'm not worried about a few dwarves. Tarnished Tevinter Amulet. Huh. 100% of basic attack damage versus enemies that attack immediately. I've never seen that before. Oh, there's a dwarf that's standing his ground. You! You're finally here! You've come! Everyone! It's the child of Malcolm Hawk! She's come to us! What's with your eyes? You look like you're dead. What does my father have to do with this? It began with him and ends with you. Blood for blood, that's what we were told. You're not making any sense. You've come to us now, and that's the only thing that matters. Maybe not dead, just seriously odd. You didn't think you could attack me and get away with it? We must have the blood. You don't understand. Right. So much for conversation. We will take it. Corypheus will walk in the sun once more. Corypheus? Foolish dwarves. Well, they're actually pretty tough, these guys. Oh, that knocked me back. I'm s I can't move very fast right now. Fenris, what are you getting into? Cricket, we need you. Probably a good thing we brought uh, somebody with a really good ranged weapon with us. Uh, Sebastian would be able to lay him flat from distance. Bianca can too. There's a sack over here. Yeah, I'd love to replace this. Cardus, can I I'd love to replace this uh, giant meat cleaver uh, blade that I have, but you know what? It's actually pretty good. It's one of the best items I've ever come across. For what I do, very durable, very sharp. Helps me um, in combat very well in terms of uh, its speed and the damage that it does. I just don't like the look of it. <laughs> it's not a pretty thing. A more refined dagger would be nice. Okay, now that was odd. Eye of blue. 18 fire damage. Well, I don't think... Yeah, he already has an amulet. But he could use rings when we come across him. I'll have to keep that in mind. He's got a, a decent staff. Okay, so I think that's everything outside. Can we go through the gate? Yep. Well, this is cobbled together. The dwarves, the, I guess the cart of dwarves live out here. And I don't even know where to go. Whoa, is this like an arena? The Bronto here. Ah! 
Somebody stunned it for a long time. Oh, what's going on? We've got dwarves all around us. Well, I don't have to worry about there being dwarven mages because there's no such thing. They have no magical power. Couple of them on the other side. Oh, I didn't even see Sebastian went down. Heal yourself. Yeah, I need to fix that AI part of him. Anders went down too. Clearly, these dwarves are insane. I'd like to know who this Corypheus is. There should be answers. Whoa, I guess we're lucky they didn't use that on us. <laughs> yeah, who is this Corinthius? Oh, look at all this. You can see it underneath. Okay, so we have two injured. Injury kit. And injury kit. Well, that's just the other trap, so... Couple crates here. A key. To come more stale biscuits. I guess that's what they eat out here. Injury kit, make up for one of the lost ones. And give form the lonely vigil. One watcher each generation will be chosen from the warrior cast. He will stand guard until his death. Only the constant vigilance of the stone's children can keep the foulness of Mavernus at bay. The burden of living in exile beneath the sun is terrible, but this sacrifice, this amgiform will ensure the sanctity of stone forever. Valos Atritum, by decree of Paragon Iona, Ilona. How many generations of warriors stood guard here? Why does that make me nervous? Hmm. Generations of dwarves stood guard here, strangely enough. Let's see, I may have missed it. There could be something on the other side here. And no, there's not. Oh, yes there is. There's I mean, these are statues over here. They have writing on them. Amgiforn of the waste, waste Yard. You who must serve beneath the empty sky, you stand between this poison and the stone. The ancestors will remember when all others have forgotten your name. Remember your oath. It must endure even beyond death itself. Be vigilant. If the pestilent one awakens, you will know it by these signs. The air will fill with the scent of putrefaction. You will hear a sound like the cadence of drums. Malvernus, the Defiler, will try to weaken your will and compel you to bear the orb out of Amgiforn, but you must hold fast. This is a sacred duty that cannot be forsworn lest the stone fall to poison and death. The a dwarven prison? On the surface of all things. Well, that's just what we read. I have no idea what this is about, actually. I've never heard of such a thing. But I don't know too much about dwarves, other than uh, Varric. Maybe a little bit from his brother. Bodan and... Uh... Oh, Sandal haven't really taught me that much. They're all surfacers, so they don't... This is to do with the... Uh, like the dwarves in Orzammar, I take it. All set. So I open that up with the key. Some suspicious rubble here. Dewclaw. I think little things that are junk that'll sell for some little bit of coin. Uh, Angiforn the Foul. Am Am G Forn the Foul. We called it Malvernus, the pestilent one. It devoured tags, turning our fairest work into a noxious waste. It consumed living warriors, turning their bodies to slime, and when its hunger was not abated, it consumed the bones of our ancestors. Foulness came from its touch, poison and filth, and desecration. It threatened even the stone itself. The shapers bound it, chained in lyrium, stained with the blood of hundred warriors, but within the orb it hungered, it waited. 
We carried it here to the wasteland of the surface where it can threaten nothing of value. The stone will live. The stone must live. We have sworn to defend it from the foul one at any price. The stone. Why do they keep... Is the stone like... Their city? I don't know what they're talking about. But regardless, dwarves don't like coming to the surface so they can help it. Usually they're exiles. In Lyrium. That doesn't sound good. No. They kept something really evil up on the surface away from the the dwarven areas. That's unheard of. If it's that fell to bring it to the surface, it must be a terrible thing. And there it is. Some kind of fortress out here? Oh. Up ahead. a desolate place, almost like the Anderfels. Denmark Chasm. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead. Skill Craftsman can make potions, poisons, and runes using the resources, resource varieties you discover throughout Thetis. Oh, it's still ahead. There's another dwarf running. I don't like the looks of this. Trap. Wonder, looks maybe they chained it inside of there. This is so odd. Another Bronto. Cricket, we need you. There's two Brontos. Okay, so let's uh. Where'd it go? He's attacking Anders. I don't blame it, but... <laughs> that was very fast. Oh, the door opened here. Okay, now the dwarves are out. <laughs> Very fast. And it's still coming. This is a lot of dwarves. They're determined to attack us. We won. There's about 20 dwarves that just came out, and they're all really tough. I would assume that they're the ones that are trying to. Uh, Watch over the whatever evil it is they brought out here. Another injury kit, good. We need those. And what were they? Some of them came from here. Health potion. Grab that. A crate. This almost looks like water, but it's, of course, out here, no. It's dust flowing. Um. Suspicious rubble inside here. A dewclaw, yes. <laughs> Let's sell dewclaws as junk. Rough health. This is where they kept the Brontos in, I assume. 
Oh. Activated trap. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those. Another health potion. Grab that. Chest. Stale biscuit. Injury kit. So we have more than we started with. Uh, Grave circle. Hunter's vest. Oh. Oh no. It's nowhere near as good as mine. And there's a crate here. Looting anything of interest to me. Oh, 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 get to the trap, get to the trap. Foolish dwarves. Okay, oh, there's two of them on me. Um, glove slap. That one's down. Well, this trap certainly helped with how many of them are here. So many... Killing so many dwarves, but something's wrong. I don't even know what it is. They know me personally, and they want my blood. Did they want me? Were they trying to lure me out here? This is where they stay, I guess. Okay, well, I think that'll... That's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll continue on the next one.